Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This twister coaster gets launched up a hill, goes down a helix incredibly fast, goes up a second launched lift hill even faster, goes straight down and then takes an unbanked small turn at a speed of over 200 km per hour. Surely this coaster is so intense that no guests will ever ride it? Wrong. Despite the fact that this coaster breaks your neck harder than a guillotine, guests absolutely love it. How is this possible? Well, even though this coaster is slightly deadly, it has an intensity rating below 10 and that is all that the guests care about. Ok, but how is that possible? How on earth does this monster have less than 10 intensity? That has to do with the order that the penalties are applied in during the stat calculation. You see, this coaster gets a lot of intensity from the high g-forces and then gets another 7 or so on top of that from excessive lateral g's. This totals to somewhere a little over 19 intensity. However, since helixes don't count as drops, this ride only has a single drop and one of the set requirements of the twister coaster is that it needs to have two of them. The penalty for missing a stat requirement is that all your stats get divided by 2, which includes the intensity rating. 19 and a bit divided by 2 is only 9.63, which is less than the threshold of 10 above which guests consider a ride to be very intense. This shows nicely how you can abuse stat penalties to make your guests actually go on your absolutely insane rides. You can take this to an even bigger extreme. This wooden wild mouse has 3.81 lateral g's, which is enough to get the full penalty and be seriously painful, yet it somehow has less than 4 intensity. This is because it fails two stat requirements, the one for 3 drops and the one for a length of 170 meters. As a result, the intensity rating is so low that even the guests with the most gentle intensity preferences will still ride it. There is a catch though, and that is that this doesn't entirely work if you use OpenRCT2. Very early on, the developers realized that the penalty for excessive lateral G's being halved if you miss a stat requirement is pretty weird, so they changed the order of operations. Now the penalties for missing stat requirements goes first, and after that you get the full intensity from excessive lateral G's. I was able to get the original stats working in OpenRCT2 by building the rides in the original game and then building a never ending ride to stop the stats from recalculating. If I delete this ride we can see the effect this has on the stats. The twister coaster goes from 9.6 to 12.6 intensity making sure that no guest will ride it ever again. The wooden wild mouse gains even more as it goes from 3.7 to 8.7 intensity, but this is still below 10 so the trick still works if you don't go too extreme. There is actually a legitimate use for getting excessive lateral g-forces on purpose as it's a very cheap way to get a high intensity rating. Usually you need fairly large coasters in parks where the guests prefer more intense rides, but with a little bit of neck snapping this tiny giga coaster already has more than 9 intensity. This is a great way to save both money and space in those scenarios. If you want to learn more very deadly but useful tricks, click here to learn about the park entrance that kills 40% of your guests. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.